for you in this body. I am who controls him. Have, you have a name you do. I made him leave his wife. Okay. okay. What else have you done to him? I have been in him since he was eight years old. Okay. Okay. Uh, who are you? You have a name you demon. Lucy, you know me. Okay. What else have you done? What else have you done in him? I don't make him succeed in life. Okay. So I want to ask you, demon. What have you been using? How have you been using him to operate? I make him isolate himself from everybody. Okay. And what else? <laughs> I make him a street to hover up. Mm -hmm. How did you enter him, Lucifer? How did you enter him? Oh, I started taking him since he was eight. Okay. Uh, he hurt me. You took him when he was eight? Yes. You, Lucifer? It doesn't matter how long you have been in him. You are coming out. Out! Out! Out of his body! Come out! 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 Thank you, Lord. It is done. You are free in Jesus' name. Rise up. Jesus is the response of a happy heart. Amen. Can you guys help me welcome Ricardo to the stage, please? Let's give Jesus Christ a round of applause. Amen. Ricardo, we want to thank you so much for being up here tonight to share what God has done in your life. We know that last night was a really special night for you where God Almighty met you at the point of your need. Now for the sake of people here that are watching, can you just tell us what was the reason that you wanted to receive prayer last night? I've been hungry for him forever. I've wanted him in my life, in my soul for the longest. I've always had a huge heart for people, but he was always holding me back. So yesterday, I was so eager for Jesus to come inside my heart. I was so hungry for him to just heal me from everything. I was told several times that whenever I acted different, that wasn't me. That was somebody else taking over me. And those people telling me weren't wrong. So, Ricardo, just to clarify, what were the problems that you were facing? Can you just elaborate specifically? What problems were you having in your daily life and things that you were encountering and facing that you just knew that you were in opposition constantly? Well, I started a couple months back, or actually years back, since I was eight, like you guys seen. My parents split when I was eight years old, and it was just the hardest thing that could happen to a child. Who wants their parents to split? I didn't have that father material there, so I grew up, you know, with my life, you know, going about my day. I didn't know any better. I got in the streets, got into drugs. And for how long were you doing drugs for? Oh, man. I think I was about 12 years old when I first tried anything. Yes. So when you came here last night, what were you expecting God to do for you? I just wanted to be delivered. I needed him inside my heart, inside my soul, so bad. I was desperate for him. You had said that when you're eight years old, your parents had split apart and you grew up without a father in your life. Can you tell us how did that affect you in your everyday life, in becoming a young man and a grown adult man? What kind of things, by not having a father in your life and in that particular situation, how did that affect you? Well, it affected me in many ways. I mean, all of us here were once a, a child and I don't, wish it upon anybody to 
not have that father or mother in, in their lives. It was very, very hard. It wasn't something I understood. I was a kid. I needed him. I wanted him. Like I said, I just went about my day, you know, on my own, figuring it out on my own. I didn't have anybody to show me what was right or what was wrong. And that's how you found yourself in drugs and doing kinds of things that was just leading you down a path that just drew you further and further away from God. So last night, you have now been set free and it's been a whole almost 24 hours that you have been free. And we just want to know, in this last, in this past day, that you received that deliverance from the spirit of Lucifer, is what it said. What has it been like in these few hours that was different from yesterday? Well, as soon as we got out of here, it was about midnight, of course, we grabbed something to eat before we try to go to sleep, you know, and we left here about almost midnight. This morning when I got here, I was asked by a few people that saw me and witnessed it all, and they asked, I bet you slept like a baby last night. I wish I did sleep like a baby, but I, in reality I didn't. I had so much joy inside of me that I just wanted to shout it to God all night. Wow, that touched me. Ricardo, thank you so much for sharing that today because you know what? There are so many people in this room that would love to experience the joy of the Lord. Am I right? Amen, hallelujah. We're seeing today truly tears of joy and happiness this is what God can do for you if God can do it for Ricardo who was hurting who was struggling in his life with drugs who was struggling with not having a father many of us can identify with that today in this room but you can also have the touch from Jesus Christ that will set you free, that will heal you, deliver you, and God won't leave you empty. But like Pastor Vlad said, God will fill you. And Jesus Christ can only fill you with one thing, and that's His Holy Spirit who brings the joy of the Lord. Amen? Amen. So Ricardo, can you just give a word of advice for people who are in this room today? Those people who are going to be in the prayer line, who are expecting a touch from the Lord, how can you encourage their faith today? Man, the joy I have inside, man, I just can't contain it inside of me. I want to shout it to the world. Everybody seeing me here or live, I encourage everyone that is struggling with anything, whether it's something like me or any other testimony or whether it's your own ups and downs, Look for help. Don't isolate yourself because that's the worst thing that you can do. Seek help, find a church, and fight a battle together. Don't fight it on your own because look what happens when you do. It got the best of me. It controlled me for the longest, but I am free. Hallelujah! Let's stand to our feet and give Jesus Christ a big Thank you for watching this content. I know this was a blessing to you. We would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell on our channel so that each time we upload something, you can be notified. Don't forget to share this content with your friends and family and on social media. We're so thankful to you. Better is not good enough. The best is yet to come.